What's up, guys? Pep Man here, Carolina Varsity. We're taking a look at a game in the Southwestern 4A Conference opening up conference play. You got the Rocky River Ravens traveling over to Myers Park to play the Mustangs. Um, Rocky River coming off the um, tough loss to North Mech at the last second, 27-23. And Myers Park coming, over, coming off a uh, 31-24 home victory against Sun Valley. Uh, your keys to victory for both teams, for Rocky River, uh, it was a tough loss to North Mech. Um, but they, they got to get over that. They can't let that linger. They got to accept that conference play is a new season. And uh, this is your ticket into the playoffs. You can finish in the top three in the league, and this league is wide open. Um, they got to come together on defense and restore the pride that, you know, Rocky Rivers has on that side of the ball. Traditionally, they've been known as a uh, strong defensive team when the offense complements that. But, um, you know, they're kind of getting away from it a little bit. Um, I think offensively, Rocky River has uh, Tyshawn Carter and Henry in the backfield. Carter at quarterback, great dual threat guy. And Henry has been running the ball well. And that's your key for Myers Park. They got to control that uh, duo that Rocky River has because those guys are both dynamic. Uh, I think you got to load up on them, load up on the run game, force Carter to make plays from the pocket in the passing game over the top. Um, for Offensively for Myers Park, you got to attack Rocky River early in the air. They had um, Sun Valley, and Sun Valley's got a heck of a passing game. But, um, you know, their, their quarterback for uh, Sun Valley threw for over 300 yards against the Rocky River secondary. And we know Myers Park's strength is throwing the ball, so I don't think you mess around. You come out and you test those guys, you know, in the air and see what they've got. If you back them off, that opens up your run game and your complimentary stuff off of the passing game. Um, so... You know, I think that's your plan if you're Myers Park. And uh, Coach Chadwick and Coach Fowler are both good head coaches. Um, I think there'll be a, a lot of chess matches going on throughout this game. Uh, traditionally, this game has been close. Um, they used to play it at the end of the conference season. Now they're opening up conference play. And this is a huge game here. We talked about the number two, number three seeds out of Southwest and who's going to get them. You're looking at two teams right here in the thick of it. And, you know, the one that wins this game is going to obviously have a big leg up you know, on the other, have possibly tiebreakers when it comes down to it. So, you know, I think this is a situation where anyone outside of Butler between East Mech, Independence, Rocky River, Myers Park are kind of, you know, fighting it all out. And those four teams are playing each other this week. So this is a big game here. And, um, you know, both of these teams are going to come out fired up and ready to play. I think Rocky River, um, they're, they're really going to be, you know, motivated because after you come off a loss like that to North Mech, you know, the first thing you want to do is get right back on the field and play somebody. So, you know, if Myers Park comes in here thinking, you know, Rocky River's down and out because of their 1-4 record, no, that's not going to happen. This is a new season, and Myers Park's got to be ready to go, and I know they will in the Coach Chadwick, who's uh, done successful anywhere he's gone. So it's going to be a really good game here. Um, you guys go over there and check it out. Should be a nice crowd. Uh, hopefully the weather doesn't affect it too much. Um, play safe, guys, and good luck.